Hi, everybody. This is Jessica DeMasso with WTF Health. What's the future health? We are talking to the who's who of health tech and digital health. And you know, one of my favorite things to cover are big fundraises. So stepping in today, we have Jeff Datches. He is the CEO and founder of OneDrop. And OneDrop, Jeff, congratulations, just closed a hundred, almost a hundred million dollar deal with Bayer. So Jeff, Welcome to the show. I want to start on this funding deal. So tell me all about it. Close to 100. Break it down for me. Thanks, Jess. Really appreciate you having me here. And um, yeah, we're really excited. I mean, and, I, and you know, first off, I just have to give a hats off and, and kudos to my entire team. Wow. Um, the OneDrop team really has gone above and beyond to deliver, you know, an amazing um, experience for our users that delivers, you know, exceptional value to them in terms of their health and exceptional value to all of our employer and payer customers who are paying for them. And so, you know, really, I just have to give hats off to the team. And then, you know, a, a, a shout out to all of my investors and, and the, the stakeholders who have supported us along the way. All right. So um, break it really, down for me, though. Break it down. Yep. Break down the deal for me. So Bayer, you know, invested in our Series C funding here, uh, 34 and change million dollars, uh, and then um, signed a development and milestone agreement with us for another $64 million. Um, and that will help us develop the OneDrop platform further in the areas of focus that allow us to expand our multi-condition offering that we announced last week into a bunch of other therapeutic areas that allow us to meet the needs of people um, even better. That's awesome. And now with this, I understand, would you call this like a follow-on investment from Bayer? Because I know you closed around with them in late 2019, I think it was November, 40 million with them oh, yeah. to, to develop the platform out, right? Yeah, and actually, honestly, most of that money's still in the bank. Um, hey, even so better. <laughs> this, is, but this, is, this is an official Series C, this is not a follow-on. Um, okay. So no, this is an entirely new round with uh, some participation from our existing investors and, and uh, yeah, new funding. Fantastic, so brand new, brand new start here. And I know one of the things that's really cool about this, I like the fact that you guys are entering into this de development phase into these new condition areas. So if I read this correctly, the condition areas you're moving into are oncology, uh, cardiology and women's health. So tell me a little bit about this. What do you have planned there? Well, those are, you know, just as examples, um, yeah. there are a bunch of other areas that we also intend to work on with Bayer, but as, as great examples, um, you know, people with diabetes oftentimes have other comorbidities, including, you know, cardiovascular conditions. And so cardiovascular conditions are, 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 are a logical adjacent area to the things that we work on. They're also an expensive area for the healthcare system. So, uh, you know, just like, you know, diabetes and, and hypertension and high cholesterol are issues um, that, that cost employers a lot of money um, and payers a lot of money. Uh, you know, cardiovascular conditions are, are a huge cost center as well. And so as we start to look at, at, at the whole person, not, not, not the diabetic or not the cardiovascular patient or not the renal patient or not the, you know, hypertension patient, but the whole person who might have, you know, different versions and combinations of those things, we really can focus our strengths, which sit in data science and health science and behavior science, and focus on helping that whole person with the conditions that they have. Um, and so OneDrop, you know, as a customized, personalized experience is gonna be really useful, you know, to, to those people and expanding into these multiple conditions with Bayer allows us to reach more of that whole person with our personalized, customized um, OneDrop experience. All right, I wanna hear more about the data science side of this because one of the things that I recall reading here was about the health forecasting. And I know that you guys have extended this like it's clear to me what this means in the realm of diabetes. You have your eight hour glucose forecast, which I, I think was part of that. Was that part of the new launch of, of, of stuff and consumer experience stuff that you guys released last week? Is that right? Um, but the glucose forecasting part of it, you know, obviously tied to data science, totally predictive. I mean, tell me about this because I feel like Jeff, we've been hearing you know, AI and healthcare you know, over and over again as buzzwords. And I know that it is the back engine to a lot of things that a lot of different companies are doing, but what does it mean at OneDrop? What is this health forecasting model that you guys have built? Well, you know, it's funny. I think you do hear a lot of that word AI as a, as a buzzword. Um, and, you know, one, at OneDrop, we've been practicing, you know, what we preach in terms of um, machine learning and artificial intelligence to predict um, 
what's going to happen to people and then help them change that outcome if, it, if it's not going in the right direction. We think the future of chronic conditions is digital, it's proactive, and it's predictive. And so if we can help people change the, the trajectory of their behavior before bad stuff happens, we can one, avoid the cost of that bad stuff, and two, we can keep people healthier. And so you know, today, the sick care system is really rooted in treating the symptoms of problems after they've occurred. Mm -hmm. If we can focus on preventative, prospective, predictive care, we can start to help people make better choices before bad stuff happens. And so if we can do that you know, in diabetes and in you know, uh, hypertension and high cholesterol and in cardiovascular conditions and in uh, other, other areas, we can start to help people with turn-by-turn -turn navigation for their health. And so you can predict what's gonna happen now, you can predict what's gonna happen in the future. If they're on track, if they're on, if they're on the right route, then we just help keep them on the route. But what if they're off track? Right. Like a lot of people are. Right, I'm off, I'm, I'm off track, I'm doing stuff every day, keeping me off track. So how can I get you back on track and give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation to get to your health goal? And the only way to do that is with machine learning and data science. And the only way to do real machine learning and data science is to have a vast sum of data. And so OneDrop with now almost 14 billion health data points, diverse health data points. Um, what do you mean by diverse? Diverse, over 75 biomarkers that we're tracking. Okay. You know, um, and so when you have, uh, I'll just say, you know, a, a, a single monoline source of data, as an example, let's say we only had glucose information. Okay. Glucose information is not very predictive on its own. It's only in the context of understanding sleep and physical fitness and food and stress and heart rate and a bunch of other things that that data becomes extremely predictive. And so, you know, OneDrop has spent an enormous amount of time working with our over now 3 million users in 195 countries to take the data that we collect and turn it into useful predictions and then turn by turn navigation to help people get to their health goals. And so we believe the future of chronic care lies in that predictive, proactive, preventative stance and, and data science is really the way to do it. I like the holistic experience that you guys have built. And I we referred a little bit earlier to the video you guys released last week. It was like this Steve Jobsy kind of product launch, very cool. Um, no, I liked it because it really brought it to life. It was kind of like a demo, but you were kind of talking through it and talking through your user experience. And you know, one of the things that struck me is how you guys have built kind of like an integrated, so you have in your um, case. Uh, that used as an example, it was a person who had two different conditions, but they're only going through the one drop program once. It's not like they've got to have multiple sign ons and things like That's that. Right. That's Talk right. to me more about, you know, the reason and the rationale for this. I mean, especially if you guys are thinking about, you know, the different types of markets you're entering into, you know, with some of these new conditions that you'll be building out for Bayer. Well, you know, it doesn't make sense to have people do a diabetes program if they also have hypertension and high cholesterol and then aren't addressing those issues. Yeah. Right. And so for us, having a unified, integrated experience personalized for the individual is crucial. And so when we talk to our payer clients or when we talk to our employer clients or now when we talk to individuals in the consumer market and they want to get healthy so that they can run a 5K or they want to get healthy so they can dance at their granddaughter's wedding. And we're helping people reimagine what's possible for themselves by giving them the gift of health. And if you silo them into a specific program for one thing, and then they're not addressing the psychosocial issues or the behavioral issues that they need to make real change in their life, then they're not solving the problem. You know? And so for us, having a fully integrated multi-condition program that touches on a whole suite of issues for an individual, and now with Bayer powered you know, by the, the strength and health science capability sets that, that Bayer brings to the table, we are building out, you know, a set of new capabilities that will allow us to create a complete, personalized, integrated health experience, um, but across, you know, numerous new conditions. This is exactly in line with what you said to me in November when, when you closed that first round with them. But um, before even all of that, you know, one of the things that's always struck me as different about OneDrop has been some of the big partnerships you've had that has mm -hmm. sold mm -hmm. 
your product to retail. So, I mean, to remind everybody of those, I mean, you guys were one of the, if not the first, one of the first to be sold at the Apple store, right? Yeah. I mean, you guys, right, partnership with Amazon for distribution there, you're in Walmart, you recently um, got added to CVS. So yeah, I guess talk to CVS me solution. about this. Yeah, I mean, talk to me, about, I guess, about this side of things, you know, why, you know, it's so hard to go direct to consumer with something like this, but how do you feel like that's helped you understand, you know, what's sticky with people who are trying to improve their everyday health and deal with a chronic condition? Well, you know, first off, we have one product that we make and we happen to sell it into different channels, whether it's payer channels, employer channels, uh, uh, retail channels, consumer web, consumer app. You know, for us, it's, it's a single, single offering and different ways of bringing it to the consumer. But you're right, you know, the, the, the consumer market forces us to meet the needs of individuals where they're at. It forces us to deliver value to the person. And that's what we're relentlessly focused on at OneDrop. My entire team, you know, hats off to them again. All we think about is how to help make that individual's experience delightful, engaging, and something that they can count on to help keep them healthy. And so what we learn is not how to optimize for billing codes, or what we learn is not how to better deal with um, the nuances of how insurance companies uh, optimize for revenue. What we learn is how to help people be healthy. And you know, you, you can you can prescribe all the different things in the world to somebody, and if they don't take the medication, they're not going to get any better, right? right? And so, what we focus on is what works for people, what works for you, and what works for you, by the way, does not work for the, somebody else. So it's not a one size fits all. It has to be customized and personalized for you. And so, our you know behavioral science engine and the data science behind what we do creates a an experience that allows for you know. A, a personalized experience that only only you're going to get. And so what we learn from spending time in the consumer market is trial by fire every single day, um, you know, and learning what people want and what they don't want. And they're not getting it, you know, in the consumer market, they're not getting it for free. They're paying for it. Right. And so we've got to earn. We've got to earn the right to serve those customers. I have to earn the right to 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 be able to talk to those customers and to engage them and and to be able to help them and 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 we learn so much from them. And so, you know, from my perspective, you know, I gotta earn it every single day. And the consumer market forces us to do that in a way that the payer markets don't. Yeah, I mean, it's a completely, I mean, it's it's interesting how those those different markets, it's like they work together, right? But at the same time, it really requires a different approach for each one of them. And it's like, I really feel like you guys have such a unique perspective with how far into consumer you have gone. Because I don't, I, I couldn't necessarily think of too many others who, who have gone that, that route. Um, with I mean, I, don't, don't, I mean, B to B to C, you know, through the payer markets absolutely requires us to earn it too. Yeah. But yeah. when you're dealing with somebody on an individual level, you know, and that's who we have to serve every day, relentlessly, and we face their criticism and their feedback and their, you know, all the stuff that goes along with, with helping people who, who, who don't, sometimes don't even know that they need help or are having problems that aren't related to you, but are, but bring it out, you know, they're, they're mad at you for some reason. Or or they're delighted. You know, I, I said to somebody yesterday that I, that I cry almost every day reading some of the notes that our, that our customers send us every day. I mean, that's awesome. every day there's somebody that's having a breakthrough, that's somebody that didn't know something that, that, that we were able to help them with. Every day, somebody's reporting back to us that they went to the doctor and they got the results back and they had a huge win, you know, that they couldn't have done before without us. And so, you know, I, 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 the payer markets and, and the employer markets, absolutely huge part of our business. Love that. But, but, but the consumer teaches us something every day. Absolutely. Well, I mean, in the end, we're all health consumers, right? I mean, yeah. we're all trying to take, take the best care of ourselves that we can with with the resources we have available to us. Last thing for you, Jeff, I just want to pick your brain, you know, on what's going on more broadly in the industry. Like I know you chimed in for us, you know, on, on some recent news, you know, with uh, with others in this same chronic condition management space, the Teladoc Lomongo merger. And thank you so much for, for contributing your perspective to that because I thought it was a good one. But I mean, like, what do you think about this space? You know, it, it's, 
it's a big crowded space, but it's also a big crowded market. So what do you think is going to happen next? Are we going to see more M&A moving forward? Do you think we're going to see, I mean, another big funding deal like the one you guys just signed? Or what do you think? Yeah, I don't have any hot take gossip, really. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I think, you know, what we've seen, you know, is a lot of silos, a lot of point solutions in the market. And I think at some point, you know, the, the payer market and the employer market are going to want to go to a trusted source that has uh, a solution that can meet the needs of most of the people, you know, that they're serving and do so in a way that is a compelling user experience that is engaging and that actually delivers the health value and the cost savings. And so over time, you know, I don't think that the individual point solutions can stay that way for long and that in the end whatever form it's going to take there will be some 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 form of consolidation and what i called platformization which is not a word but um. <laughs> it's as much of a word as amazonification of health uh, Amazon, okay. 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 i've heard that before too yeah, so okay. you, can, you can apparently add an occasion to the end of anything and maybe anything. like yep. a here yeah, in so. All right, Jeff. Well, congratulations again on this, this big Thank partnership you. deal. I mean, I'm kind of I, a little bit blown away by it. I mean, you don't see Bayer making moves like that. So, I mean, and, and this is not the first time with you guys. So good luck. Continue to blow well, out those conditions um, and, and help people with their health in a holistic way. <laughs> Thank you so much. And you know what? Hats off to Bayer too. Uh, one of the smartest teams I've ever worked with there. And so, you know, just to say we're really excited about it. And um, thank you for, for having yeah. us here. No problem. Thanks. I'm Jessica Damaso. That's Jeff Datchis. He's the CEO and founder of OneDrop. Thank you for joining us. Congratulations again. To find more interviews with the leading thinkers in healthcare and the big fundraisers and the guys making all the moves, ladies too, uh, please check out my website on YouTube. Um, it is youtube.com slash WTF Health. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for joining us.